Hello everybody, welcome to the second tutorial from Design From Within. Uh, this time we will be installing ModX, it's a content management system. Um, ModX is really easy to use, it's really flexible and uh, you can create some really good pages with, uh, and you can make it, make it as advanced as you want. So uh, if you want a really basic simple site, then it's really easy to start with. But if you want to install very exclusive and um, flexible uh, elements like login systems or um, uh, community uh, forums then that's also really easy also it has a really good community so if you have any questions you can just go to the site and ask it uh, what do we need to install modix uh, modix of course which you can download uh, you also will need uh, a website so uh, either run uh, wamp or mamp on your server to create a virtual site or you have to have actually um, a hosting provider and that has your website. So you need your FTP data and you need to be able to create uh, a database, uh, MySQL database. So uh, if you are not sure how to do this, contact your provider and they will give you the information. First step one, uh, getting ModX. Um, go to modxcms.com, then there's the site. It has some explanation about ModX, how it works, so that's really easy. Um, um, but you just go to the download, the latest version is evolution 1.0.2 so you click on download and you can get the zip file here, download zip um, well you can register if you want but you can just proceed to the download and it should start and you just select ok once you downloaded it you go to the file and uh, I already downloaded and unzipped the file so um, here it is you get a mod x 1.0.2 file and it has these files assets, install, manager and so well it's fine um, so we keep that in a folder where you can find it next we need fire uh, an FTP program I like to use Fire FTP for Mozilla. It's really easy to use and it's free. So I suggest you use that one, but if you need another one, that's no problem. Um, then you start it up, Fire FTP. Um, this section of the screen is online, and this section is on your computer. So between this, you can transfer files on online and to your computer. Um, within my site, Design From Within, I created a domain, I call it Screencast, but you can call it anything you want, of course, just give it the name of your site. And then I found the folder where I, I downloaded the, the, the files for ModX, it's this one, ModX.102. And it's simple as this, you just select all the files and you upload it to your server. This will take some time, so I will pause the tutorial so we can continue later. So, we'll be right back. Alright, we're back. As you can see, all the files have been uploaded. So now we have the installation for Montrix ready online. So the next thing we do is go to the URL. You can get it here. Um, I just do this, copy it, new tab, post it, and just remove the public.html. And if you enter, you get this screen. Montrix is not installed yet. Do you want to install? Well, yes, we do. Um, now we can choose a language, I like to keep English, and we select a new installation. You can later, if you want, upgrade it, or even an advanced upgrade, but now we use new installation. The next is we have to enter our database information. Um, uh, this you get from your hosting provider. Um, I'll paste my, um, my password, which I won't tell of course and my login name which is design from and then you can check if it's correct and it's passed as you can see now we have to select the name of the database um, you should create a database on your uh, hosting provider um, contact your hosting provider on how to do this I already created one it's uh, design from SC that's just the one I created you can use any name you want of course um, leave the table prefix to mod x underscore that's well, just just a general easy uh, prefix um, and then you can test it 
it's not good it says uh, collation ma collation mismatch use set names it says well I'll do that set names and it passed um, now we can enter the manager settings um, I usually leave, leave the administrator username to admin that's good I enter my info email so info at design from within dot com feel free to email me for any questions if you have it um, my password uh, will be this and again and I want the language to be English next here you can select what you want to install. Uh, I'll save the password. Um, I usually keep everything. Uh, Moldix has a lot of easy templates and snippets and parts. Just keep everything. You don't have to use everything, but just install it. And the next one. This is a big one. Um, for the installation to be finished, Moldix needs some of the folders on your site to be writable. Uh, that means that it has to be able to change the contents. Um, how do you do this? First, it says here I need assets cache and assets cache RSS need to be writable. So that's online here assets and the cache that needs to be writable. That means it has to be 6 6. No. Uh, we have to add those, it has to be writable. I right clicked on it and selected properties or control P shortcut. And this one, the RSS, we need that one too, writable. And I already know this one also, properties, site cache, idx.php, this one. These need to be writable. And the site publishing also. Alright, that's a lot already. Um, now let's try it. Still won't work. It has more now. Assets images, assets files, assets flash, and assets media need to be writable. So you go to assets, so the files needs to be writable, the flash properties writable, the images, and the media. Alright, retry. One less, and now we see the assets export. That's a different one. Um, let's go to assets, and the export needs to be writable. All right, and the final one, um, it needs to have config.inc.php uh, in the manager includes file. So we go to manager includes, and you see here a config.inc.php.blank. So we have to rename this and change it to config.inc.php. So remove the dot blank and then make it writable. And now it should work. We try, everything's okay, and you can accept the license terms and install Modix. Now you see an install result, check if everything's alright, but usually it is. Installation was successful. So thank you very much. We can close and then you get to the manage your login screen. Here you can enter your uh, data you entered before. So admin and the password you chose. Uh, I usually remember it, but that depends on what computer you are, of course. And well, welcome to your site. Uh, the name is now my ModX site for now. Uh, this is the first page, ModX CMS install success. And it has some uh, default text um, you can just save this or not and um, if you check preview on the top right you can see your site online so your site is there um, this is the standard template for Moldix we will change that in the next tutorial so uh, we just installed and set up a basic Moldix site uh, please follow me again on the next tutorial where we will, des we be, we will be designing designing a simple page and I hope you enjo enjoyed this Please visit me on uh, designformwithin.com for any comments you might have and the uh, next tutorials will be posted here under the category Mod X. So hope to see you again. Thank you.